times times out in the jungle when we come across the tunnel and it only maybe be this big around and being five foot six 130 pounds wet I was designated the tunnel rat and I'd take my 45 pistol and a flashlight and i crawl in these tunnels and sometimes they go way back in there and then there might be a big old chamber where there could be people in there or they might store rice in there ammunition and stuff like that which we would confiscate and to this day I have claustrophobia because of that like if I go to get an MRI and they put in that tube like that that they have to they have to give me a tranquilizer in order for me to do it yeah when you would go in those would, would you contact the NBA very often inside those tunnels or the, there was one time and I, I pulled my, I had my pistol in front of me and I, I shot at him um, I can't be certain I killed him but uh, probably did um, yeah though they, they were and you don't know when you're going in there if they're booby trapped if there's going to be a grenade go off if you're going to hit a trip wire or are there punji sticks and you know what a punji stick is it's a pointed piece of bamboo and they usually crap on it so that if it hits you you're going to get blood poisoning or something else it's going to be and the whole idea of the punji stick is to wound you not kill you so that it takes other people to take care of you takes them out of the combat um, so you, when you crawl through these spider holes what they call them you don't know what you're gonna hit what you're gonna see you're just hoping you're not gonna lose it yeah you know. were you the only guy in your outfit that did that no there was one other guy he was almost my same size his nickname was Pee Wee, and I was Peanuts. <laughs> and uh, we were both about the same size, so sometimes he went, sometimes I went. But that was a very traumatic experience in itself. Yeah, I hated it. That was one of the worst things I had to do. And another time, we come across a whole bunch of tunnels. There's a sort of a depression in the ground and there's holes like this every so often around this thing. There's lots of them. And I, I grabbed a whole bunch of grenades and, and uh, nobody else went with me. I just went over and went around all these tunnels and throwing a grenade in there and uh, open for the best. And that's how I earned that Army Commendation Medal up there, was for that. But I, I hated tunnels. <laughs> yeah. Did uh, Pee Wee, did he, did he make it through doing that? Did he have any, uh, he never got injured or? He went home. He made it through. Uh, I, I lost contact with him and I don't know what his mental state was, but I'm sure it wasn't up to par because, you know, that, that's a bad scene, those tunnels, you yeah. Did you stay in touch with any of the guys when you got out? Uh, uh, I, I do some, like the guy that wrote the book, Courage Under Fire. Um, my, my big brother, 
in over there. He saved my life three times. I saved his life twice. He lives in St. Petersburg, Florida. I have not seen him since then. And his health isn't so good anymore, but then that's been 50 some years ago. But I, I am in contact with him and we are on Facebook together. And, but not too many of them. Now, Fats, the guy, that machine gunner right there, I heard after he came home, he lived in Texas. Yeah, a week after his home was killed in a car wreck. Spending all that time in Vietnam, making it home and then killed in a car wreck. That's sad. Um, and then I've heard through the grapevine that a lot of my comrades in arms were, have passed away from various things, you know. That's, you know, we're, most of us are 75, seven, in their 70s, yeah. That guy you called your big brother, was that actually your big brother? Or no, he, no. Somebody you considered him? Yeah, he was, yeah, he, he was considered my big brother, and I'm considered his little brother because we took care of each other over there. And uh, he, he saved my life, like, three times. And... Um, I think I think he got awarded something for that too. And, and you're that close with him. That I mean that that yeah. you, you're, you're brothers. That's yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I can show you on my face, Facebook page. You know, you know he was he was probably six foot two or four or something. He's a big guy. Yeah. That's somebody that you would consider a hero, somebody that you Oh, <laughs> most definitely. He was a hell of a hero.